So here's a look at the dorm room before we moved any of the stuff in. This dorm room has three separate rooms. When you first walk in, there's this entryway type area with the full closet and a sink and a mirror. When you walk through this doorway, it takes you into this little room that has a wall of nothing but closet space, a fairly large window, and a desk. Then you walk through one more doorway into the actual bedroom area that has another large window and another closet space. Now, because my bonus daughter is an RA this semester, she gets a room to herself, which is pretty great except it has cinder block walls, horrible carpet, and needed help. I'm leaving a timestamp down in the description box, so if you wanna jump around, you can feel free to. We got started in the entryway. This is where we decided to put her refrigerator, coffee maker, food storage, stuff like that. I picked up this little shelf on sale at Target. I will link this and everything else I possibly can down in the description box. To create a little coffee bar in her dorm room, I picked up a couple of trays and a little tear stand at the Target dollar spot. So now she has somewhere cute to display her little K-cups, coffee creamer, stuff like that. All the decor on these top two shelves came from the Target dollar spot, including the coffee mugs. The coasters and the little baskets on the bottom shelf all came from Dollar Tree. I picked up these really cute greenery prints that are already framed at five below. And then I just used Dollar Tree command hooks to hang them on the wall. Also, you guys might remember several months ago, I made these DIY Dollar Tree ombre painted mirrors. This crescent moon also came from five below and these rugs, also five below. To finish up this first room, Koa had a couple of cute little succulents that she put on the shelf in front of the mirror, and I hung a couple of coral-colored towels over the towel rack on the side. Disgusting. <laughs> what is that? Moving on to the second room. Initially, I was gonna leave the floor in this room alone, but once I actually saw it in person, I went and picked up this gray rug at Walmart. It was dirt cheap. While I was there, I also grabbed these two really fluffy saucer chairs. All right, I have to tell you guys that when I was editing this footage and I ran across this, her sisters and I died laughing. And this is even better. I had to show you guys this clip in slow-mo. All right, moving on. I picked up this inflatable ottoman at five below. I added this really fluffy white throw to this chair, as well as an initial pillow with Koa's initial on it. To carry that color and texture onto the floor, I added this round fluffy white rug. I saw a full length mirror against the wall on the rug and a fluffy pillow in the other chair. Last week I posted a full length tutorial on the curtain rods that I made for this dorm room. I will leave that up above as well as in the description box below. So we got the curtains and the curtain rod hung and we strung some ivy across the top. Using this metal frame, some foam board, fabric, and ribbon, I made a memory board to hang above Koa's desk. Here's just a quick glance at how I put this together. 
If you guys want a full tutorial on how I made this, let me know in the comments down below. I used command hooks and hung this over her desk. Koa has had a passion for photography since I've known her, so this is a great way for her to get to display some of the pictures that she's taken over the years. To give her more space for some of her photos, we picked up these hexagon cork boards at Target. You also might remember several months ago, I did these DIY Dollar Tree hexagon shelves with these DIY succulent planters. I will link that video above and down in the description box below as well. I thought that the hexagon cork boards went really well with the planters and this made another great space for her to put some pictures on the wall and to also transition the space between rooms. Now moving on to the bedroom, here's one more quick DIY. I took this frame and flipped it over and just stapled twine on both sides. I did this all the way down the frame, spacing them out five inches in between. Then I just stuck command strips on the sides of the frame and hung it up on the wall right above the dresser. Then you just use little clothes pins to clip pictures up from the twine. This was a perfect place to display Koa's love for her Polaroid camera. Okay, so this is the room I'm the most excited about sharing with you guys. I ordered this bed set off of Amazon. It's perfect because it fits the extra long twin beds in the dorm rooms. And for this room, I picked a white rug so that it would really brighten up the space. Also, I just wanted something fluffy for her to have under her feet in this room. I got this tapestry on Amazon to hang on the wall above her bed. I liked the fact that it pulled some of the same pink and coral colors. Then after some research, I narrowed it down to these exact twinkle lights to hang up over her tapestry on the wall. I will link these down in the description as well, but I think they have somewhere along the lines of 300 individual LED lights in total which honestly, it turned out to look like way more than I even could have imagined. The LED lights are slightly wider from one end to the other than the tapestry, so we used the hooks from the tapestry to hang the lights and then added a command hook on the outside edge on both sides for the very last strand on each side to hang down from. Then we untwisted all the strands so that they would hang down and plugged it in. I hung another set of curtains in this bedroom using the same method that I did in the other room. Again, I will link that tutorial down in the description box below. I picked up this little side table at five below. I thought it would be perfect to put next to Koa's bed so she'd have something to set her cell phone on at night. Then I also got this little poof at Walmart on clearance. Here's one more quick glance at her dorm room before the makeover. And here is her dorm room now. Time. Remember tonight I found something here with you Running by the roadside, wait up for me I'd go anywhere that you do Put it all out in the open No, we don't have to control it Put it all out in the open If it's only for a moment It's a lifetime of emotion Put it all out in the open
guys, I'm in love with the way her room turned out. Now she has somewhere to call her home away from home and a place for her and her friends to hang out. Drop me a comment below and let me know what your favorite part of this storm room makeover was. And if you enjoyed this video and would like to see more like it, give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any future content. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time.